Hey everyone, welcome to Online Education Academy ZA. On today's lesson, we'll be doing the input output table. Right, we have this table, right? So the input is what is N. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we want the value of the output, which is the value of Y. Output. So we have a formula that says Y is equal to 3N plus 2. So in this case, we want to find values. When we put 1, we want to find the output. What is the output? So in this case, we will then say y is equal to, we use the formula, 3n plus 2, right? Which is going to be equal to 3 in place of n because n is what is the input. We'll put 1. 1 plus 2. So we're going to say 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 we should get 5. So 5 is our first answer here. We'll have 5 when our y is 1. Then we'll go on and say y is equals to 3 n plus 2 which is going to be equal to 3. Then we put the second input. The second input is what? It's 2. Then in place of n, we place 2 plus 2. 3 times 2, it is 6. Plus 2, it is 8. So we get our answer is 8. So 8 is our second input. We have 8 here. Yeah? And then we can have another one, which is y is equals to 3n plus 2. We want the value of y. So the third one, it's 3. When y is 3, we're going to have 3, 3 plus 2, which is going to give us 3 times 3, it's 9, plus 2, it's 11. So we have 11 as, as our... Is our output so we have 11 so this is how you work out the input output table so when when n is equals to 1 y is 5 when n is equals to 2 y is 8 when n is equals to 3 y is 11 then we have let's have another one okay we have another one y is equals to 3n plus 2 right which is equals to 3 and in place of n we put 4 4 plus 2 so 3 times 4 gives us 12 plus 2 give us 14 so we have 14 as our answer so this is how we, we we do input output method so our answer there is gonna be 14 right so we have another one when y it is 5 so let's say y is equals to 3n plus 2 which is equals to 3 then we'll put 5 in bracket plus 2. 5 times 3 gives us uh, 15 plus 2 gives us 17. So our answer is 17 for 5. Then we have a last one. So y is equals to 3n plus 2. So if you are getting value from this channel, if you are learning, please hit that subscribe button for more learning content. Okay, then we have 3 in place of N. Then we're going to put 6 plus 2, which is going to be equal to 6 times 3, 6, 12, 18, plus 2, 20. If 20 is our answer. <laughs> Okay, then we'll put 20 here. 
So this says for the formula y is equal to 3n plus 2. When, when n is 1, our, our output, when our input is 1, our output is 5. When our input is 2, our output is 8. When our input is 3, our output is 11. When our input is 4, our output is 14. When our input is 5, our output is 17. When our input is 6, our output is 20. Right. So, okay, this is how we work it out. Y is equal to 3n plus 2. We want the value of Y because we are given the value of the input. We want the value of the output. Okay. When the input is 1, we're going to say 3. Inside the brackets, we put 1 plus 2, which is going to give us 5. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2, gives us 5. And then, when our input is 2, we're going to say 3 bracket 2 plus 2. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2, gives us 8. There's our answer. Okay? And then, when our input it's 3. We're going to say 3 bracket 3 plus 2. It's going to be 3 times 3, which gives us 9 plus 2, which is going to give us 11. Then, we have a scenario when our input, it is 4. Right. We're going to say 3 bracket 4 plus 2, which is going to give us 3 times 4, 4, 8, 12. It gives us 12 plus 2. Which gives us 14. And then we have another scenario when our input is 5. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2, 17. Then last scenario, 3, our input is 6 plus 2, which gives us 20. Please subscribe for more learning content. This is how you do input output method in a table. Please subscribe for more learning content on Online Education Academy ZA if you are getting value from this channel.